Hi hey there and welcome to another edition of Solve My Math Homework's Video Solutions. So today's problem looks like a college math or college algebra linear regression word problem. So let's get into it. Alright, it says that suppose the imports from a certain country grew from about $41 billion in 1994 to $61 billion in 1999. Let x equal zero correspond to 1994. It wants us to estimate the imports in billions of dollars for the year 2000. Assume the data can be modeled with a straight line. Okay, so then it asks what linear equation best models the imports. And using that equation, they're going to want you to say, well, in 2000, the imports were approximately how much? How many billions of dollars? All right, so let's look at this. Let's, uh, I'm going to keep this problem up for a little bit. But when you first see this, okay, even if they didn't say assume linear, I would, I would have chosen linear for this. They've only given you two points. So let's pretend the data was in a table, okay? So just look at x and y, okay? And you would say that in 1994, okay, that's where we start. In 1994, they were at 41 billion. And so we're going to just, we're going to put a b here, but we're just going to use 41 and know that our answer is in building, billions. Then we're going to say, what else did they give us? So 1999, it was 61 billion, okay? So in five years, it went up $20 billion. So you're looking at four billion a year. You wanna treat these like coordinate points, except we're not gonna use 1994 and 1999 because they said, let X equal zero correspond to 1994. I know that it is a little confusing when they say things like that. All they mean is, Instead of 1994 here, your x value, you want to treat this as 0, okay? And then counting up from 94, that would make 1995, 1999 an x value of 5. So let's look at the two points we have. So we have two points, if we take these, okay? We have 0, 41, and, whoops, we don't have a 0 anymore. Let's get rid of that. We have 561, okay? So taking away the problem now, all it wants us to do is find the linear equation that goes through these two points. Now remember, this is a, an approximation because it's a word problem, but really that's the heart of this. All they're asking us to do is find the linear equation that these two points go through or that represents this scenario, and they also want us to look at the year 2000. So the year... 2000, well, if 1999 has an x value of 5, that's going to have an x value of 6. So we'll put in 6 to our equation for x and solve for that. All right, so when you have two points, the only thing you can find from two points is a slope. All right, so let's do this. If you don't remember slope, we're going to call it m, and it is the change in y, so y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Makes no difference which one you consider your x1, y1, or x2, y2. Just pick it and go. So I always say if you're going to go 61 minus 41, then you have to go the same way for your x's. Okay? 61 minus 41 over 5 minus 0. You're going to get a 20 over 5. So you're going to get 4. And remember, we're dealing with billions. So 4 billion... Um, and it's really, what we're looking at is a, an increase, okay? So imports grew $4 billion per year. So we'll need to know that for the end. All right, so now we have our slope. What's the only thing we need now? We need to put this into, let's say, a linear equation. Let's say we need to put it in y equals mx plus b form. There's two ways we could do this. We could use point-slope form since we do have a point and we have a slope. But we're going to do this the simpler lengthier method. I think this is more preferred by most students, so we're going to go ahead and plug into here. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we have m, okay? We have m equals 4. We have an x and a y. Actually, we have two x and y's, but we only need one at this point. We can ignore one of our points. So we need an x, we need a y. I'm always going to pick the point that has the easier numbers, and one of them is a 0, so that's the winner. x equals 0, y equals 41. Okay, we are going to plug that all in and solve for B, which is our y-intercept. All right, so let's do, let's change it to purple, shall we? All right, so for our y, we're going to put in 41. 
Now we've got a zero for x and we have a four for m, so four times zero plus b. Well, that's just gonna be 41 equals zero plus b, okay? So b equals 41. All right, the only two things you need for a linear equation. So you need slope and you need your y-intercept and that is your b. And we have both of those now. So we have m equals four, we have b equals 41. So our linear equation that represent this scenario, represents this scenario is y equals four x plus 41. Okay, so now it asked us, if we go back to our original equation, our original problem, We've solved for all. A, what linear equation best models it? We have it, 4x plus 41. It wants to know in the year 2000, what were the imports? How many billions of dollars? Okay, let's see. We already talked about this. We talked about how the year 2000, x was going to be 6. So we're going to plug in 6. And some of you probably have already done this and you know the answer. And that's fine. We're just going to put it in and see that it's 65 billion. y equals 4 times 6 plus 41. So 24 plus 41, if you're wondering why I put in six, remember the year uh, 2000 is represented by x equals six. So y equals $65 billion in imports in the year 2000. All right, I think this problem came from Texas, I'm not sure. Uh, if this helped you, great. If you still have questions, pop them in the comments and remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel so I'll do your homework problem next. Thanks for watching.